Whoa, uh, hello my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? Oh my goodness gracious. Holy mackerel. I did it. I I did it. I couldn't control myself. The model car gods just forced me. Wow, we there's a model kit that I have wanted for years. I saw them built at some model show one time years ago and it blew me away. But it was so, so freaking out of my wheelhouse. I never could imagine getting it for a couple of reasons. But at the time when I fell in love with it, I wasn't so into these particular cars as I am today. But I have evolved. But not to mention, it is a large scale. And I kind of stay away from large scale stuff. Because holy cow, I never have a place to put it. I just don't have the room. This has been a kit that has been out of production for years. I think 20, 30 years or so. I've wanted one, but people want astronomical amounts like upwards of like i've seen it go for four hundred dollars or so or more but i've always wanted this kit well thank you tamia tamia came through out of the blue didn't know it was going to happen all of a sudden whammo dropped on us like an asteroid or a comet or an anvil in a Warner Brothers cartoon. And holy mackerel, there it was. And Andy's, of course, got it in right away. And I walk into that store and I go, You've got to be kidding me. Please don't do this to me. So I had to buy it. I had to. Now, some of you are going to come into wallet shock on this. And some of you might not really care because, you know... If you want to play, you got to pay type things. But it is astronomically cheaper than it was when this kit was in collector status and vendors were selling it for as much money as they could possibly get. I don't have an issue with that. I understand if it's not available and it's a wanted thing, by all means, I'm, I, I won't let stuff go for nothing because, you know, I don't know. I don't let things go. But, um, heck, let, well, let's just show you. This thing... <laughs> Let me see if I can fit it in the frame. Can you can you see it? Frickin' monstrosity? Holy cow. There you go. There it is. Yes. The Porsche 934. Wow. That is just a kit I have wanted. And they've put it out and they've added something extra to it. Photo X, which should make this thing even a cooler build. But it's just, it's it's got opening doors, the bonnet opens. But that, that was the thing that caught my eye when I saw this thing at a model contest one time. It had, the, the bonnet was open. The fuel tank looked like that opaque or, you know, that whitish, yellowish uh, plastic, whatever the race car ran as a fuel cell. And it looked like that. And it was just it, just amazing the quality of this bill. Of course, it's Tamiya, so Tamiya's quality is always through the roof. But uh, I think uh, I brought it home. I kind of brought it home yesterday and went, oh, I want to see this thing. But I waited. I wanted to open it up with you guys and let you check it out with me. And, mm, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll play around with it. I don't know. But it's kind of cool. A few years ago, Tamiya came out with this kit. Right here, the 20, 20, 24 scale version of it. I had hoped that it was basically a shrunk down version of that one, and it wasn't. It's a little bit more simpler kit. Very nice kit. Hope to build it someday. It'd be cool. But it's kind of cool. It got a little one, got a big one now. Got the granddaddy now. So let's, let's dive in and take a look at it. What do you say? Let's look at it. So here it is, holy, holy cow. It's so big, the box is so big that I can't even do it at my model bench. I had to put it on my coffee table here and we're just gonna open up, take a look at it. So let's, well, let's take a look at this thing. It is quite, quite a monster. So start, We've got everything rolling here. I'm gonna have you a little out of frame. It's a little kind of, goofy here. Let's start by I'm cutting across. Now it's getting open. So there we go. Release the Kraken. This mammoth thing here. Let's see what we got in here. Holy cow. And in Tamiya fashion, 
wow, do they just top it in compartmentalizing and packaging everything and just making it all in real easy form to find everything you need and it's all nice nicely protected so let's let's go ahead and while this comes out let's take a look at this body wow take a look at that holy cow wow quite the detail i was a little concerned about where uh and trees were going to be and it looks like it's all pretty pretty easy to cut away and not wreck anything but look at the interior in there it's pretty detailed this is going to be a fun model beautiful door jams I mean everything it's not toy looking at all and I believe this was tooled in the uh, probably in the 70s I think we got a bit of you know the parting line right here you'll have to work which to me it seems to avoid that nowadays but again this is old tooling um, I don't really see a little bit over on the fenders here but I don't really see too much of prep work that needs to get done as far as getting ready of parting lines and such just uh, right there and this is tape right here so that's not a parting line I don't know if you can even see but we've got right here that parting line and then this parting line on the uh, the B pillar or D, C pillar, whichever, if you consider that to be a pillar, whatever. Upper quarter panel. Wow, that is pretty spectacular. And just pull that off to the side here. All right, so now, that says as long as uh, it revealed itself, look at the, uh, the booklet here for the instructions. And in to me a fashion of course this is a big model there's a lot of instructions very well illustrated super super detailed well, you know this is definitely a kit <laughs> you build out of the box and it's detailed wow that that is very very cool and under here there's a whole map of map of all the parts parts trees everything what do we got here <laughs> I guess this is a, a thing to teach you how to be a model builder. So if you don't know how to build a model, they send you instructions on how to build a model. Neato. And, and to me, it's got their things. Now here, let's take a look at these wheels. Beautiful chrome. Looks like aluminum. I bet you if you hit them with a little bit of uh, the Tamiya flat clear, those things will look like aluminum pieces, like you, like you turned them or had them turned. And you've got yourself your the front spoiler right there and you've got the rear deck lid and everything like that and spoilers and ducts there look at oh look at that this thing comes with coil springs holy macro coil springs there's plenty of tubing and stuff to do all your wiring there's some nuts and bolts i guess there's some nothing and bolting to do and those tires look fantastical wow you don't even have to scuff these things let's take a look at these let's get a little better shot of the stuff that's in here uh, there's just nuts and bolts but look at look at that that's pretty cool got some coil springs there's just everything to do full detailed model but yeah look at these tires you and you have to scuff them Look at the footprint on there they're nice and dull and like pre you know kind of looks like um a sticker tire like it hasn't been out on the track yet that's that's really sweet some more of the chrome this looks like it's been already satined up and there's the uh, uh this goes under the bonnet there that's the chassis stiffening bar that they bolt in a bunch of uh aluminum pieces that kind of sucks that's probably left over from the 70s if you can see here's a beautiful intercooler but yet we've got you know some an injection pin mark that you wouldn't be able to get rid of if you can see it but you would not be able to get rid of that you'd lose the detail that, that's kind of a bummer but that's probably old school technology oh wow the way the wheels go on you'd be able to display this thing like it's in the pits too beautiful brake detail and here's the this is the piece I'm, i gotta take this out 
This is what always impressed me. This plastic here, when you get that stuff all put together, it looks like the, the plastic that's, uh, um, you know, that, that was the material that's used for like the fan shroud and the fuel cell and all that. And that right there, that opaque cream off white or whatever color, and the fan too. I mean, they're all like that. It's the color of the plastic that was used on the real car. And that, that to me is what set this model off when I first saw it built. That's pretty cool. There's the headlight buckets and other chrome pieces. And we've got this black tree that has you know, the dashboard and has, let's see, you see the dashboard there. And it has the brake uh, calipers, uh, just all kinds of pieces and parts. And let's take a closer look at this. Yeah, wow, look at that. Look at the, the brake calipers. Dashboard's beautiful. A beautiful Momo steering wheel. And we have, uh, it goes on the back uh, lid for the intercooler. That's, that's your grill for the intercooler. It's got some engine, but it looks like the, the valve covers or heads. And again, we've got a bunch of chassis pieces suspension pieces and things and look at that there's a distributor right there pre-drill it's all set up to run wire through there because they that's how they roll and there's the glass it's got all the pieces there beautiful clear you don't see any you don't see any scuffing you know it's nicely protected i'm going to keep this in the bag i don't want those getting ruined and this, this right here is the, the front bonnet and the doors and a roll cage. And look at that. The, the door, holy cow, look at that. That's the uh, separate drawer trim. Here we got some interior pieces. The interior pieces have quite the, the satin finish to them. Uh, you could pop those in. You wouldn't really have to paint them. They look pretty good. It looks like the, the plastic in the interior. More tires. I believe those are the rear tires. There is the racing bucket seat. Beautiful. There's more intercoolers and engine parts and the turbo. Another chrome tree that is satined up a bit to look like aluminum. We have a gray tree that has all your engine parts. Do your, your Boxer 6 cylinder. Air-cooled Porsche engine that they were always just so known for in the air-cooled era as they call them. Now let's take a look. This is something that is new to this kit. Before the early versions I don't believe had all this uh, photo etch. So now we got cool photo etch so you can make your you know brake rotors look a little more real but all this uh, screen for the front looks like you know all the stuff for the seat belts and it looks like uh, gaskets right there like for the uh, headers. Interesting. So, uh, if any of you guys know this kit better than you, this is the first time I've really examined it. So, I believe that this is new. If I'm wrong, let me know. I'm not saying, but I, from what I heard, this was new to this kit. We've got the great decals, the Jägermeister decals, and they give you some decals for the harnesses. And, yeah, that is, I'm going to keep those protected. I do plan on building this. I've always wanted to build this kit. And this is this is pretty much an out of the box deal. You can you can build this thing right out of the box. And one last look at this incredible body. Wide body. Porsche 934. Race car. I still haven't decided yet. Uh, I had the idea of making it into a street car. Kind of a Kind of a street track car or something, or flat out do the uh, Jägermeister. That's something I just noticed. I was expecting this to be orange plastic. I was so excited opening up, I didn't even think about it. They always molded this thing in orange. Hallelujah, they did it in white. That makes it more possible to do whatever color you want. I didn't even think about it. And look at that plastic, it's just beautiful. And it's not. I mean, it's not real brittle. It's typical to me of plastic. It's not real brittle. It's hard, but... And 
everything's texturized. There's certain areas, you know, where it's supposed to be nice and smooth, and you can see how shiny that body is. And then you look at the the underside and the the, the belly pan and all that. It's a little more texturized, so it's not so shiny. Holy cow! I just realized that. Mold it in white. That just changes all the different possibilities you could do. You don't have to do the Jägermeister, but if you do do the Jägermeister, you can really put a brilliant orange on here. That is awesome. That orange could be so invasive if you want to change the colors and it's just so hard to block through layers of primer and sealer. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, and it'll bleed right through and wreck if you're doing a different color. But here, you can do whatever color you want. That's awesome. Well, I'm really, I'm really stoked out about this. This is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. I'm gonna build this sucker. I'm gonna start playing with it tonight, I think. <laughs> That thing's cool. That'll build up into a incredible, incredible model. But then you have the problem. I have the problem. I have nowhere to put it when it's finished. Heck, I have nowhere to put it as a kit. I don't even know where I'm going to store this thing. I have to build it. It's smaller when you build it. I hope you uh, got a kick out of this. If you're on the fence of getting this and, you know, again, the money, uh, it retails for $189. At Andy's, he sells it for $149. And... It is well worth it, and you can see where the money goes. I mean, you're just you're not gonna, you know, pay forty bucks for something like this. I mean, if you're interested in doing a really nice, large scale, fully functional doors open, full detail, comes with photo edge. Yeah, you know where your money's going. It's worth it if you want to build this subject matter. I would not be on the fence of spending that money on this because. It, it's, I don't know what to say. I, I expected it actually to be more expensive than it is. Um, so hopefully, you know, you guys can find it. If you're in town, I'd buy it from Andy. You're probably not going to get it cheaper in any other retail store than that. Most retail stores are probably going to ask 189 bucks for this. He's got it 149. He had three in stock. I snagged one. And of course, you got the uh, online options, which is that's about what I've heard they're going for about 150 bucks online plus shipping. So, yeah, you local guys or anybody coming into Phoenix and you want this kit, I'd head over to Andy's and snag this thing. This is something else. It is one impressive kit. I really am blown away. I, I it's it's better than I imagined. I really, really am happy I got this. It's just, this looks like an absolute pleasure to build. This this could be something really cool. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start it on it tonight. We'll see. I got a couple other models in the works, and I don't know. <laughs> this is a model I've wanted to build, and you can't ask for anything more than having something that has everything in the box for you. You do not, but the paint and glue, you do not have to add any aftermarket to this thing and have a absolute stellar detailed model and you could enter it in box stock <laughs> uh, you might have people mad at you but I don't know <laughs> I'm pretty stoked about it that is a cool cool model all right so I hope you like that thanks for watching man that was a that, that was pretty pretty neat looking model. I, I tell you, that absolutely blew me away. I didn't know what to expect. I had never seen it in its kit be form before, just only built up. And uh, wow, that looks like a fun model to build, definitely. So if you're on the fence on that, like I said, and you want to do something like that, been wanting to build that model, I highly recommend you get a hold of it because it looks really well done. They as usual with Tamiya, they always just do top notch, no flashing, minimal uh, minimal parting lines and all that. It's just, and I know that thing will go together really easy because their their stuff always does. And from all the built ups that I've seen, it looks like everything fits real well. It got me pretty excited. It's been a while since I've done a, a model car video. Thank you guys for hanging out and thank you guys for supporting. If you guys have checked out my other videos on other interests that I have, like my car, please check them out if you haven't. You know, I'm having fun with that. I still want to do things like that. 
got a lot of other plans for other types of videos but um yeah we're gonna be keep on doing model car stuff don't you worry thanks a bunch for stopping by so please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe we're still building this channel up we've got a lot more in store for you and uh, we're just having a good time. So you just keep on building those models. Have a great time building models. And you got to remember, this is me, Lucas C. And what do I always say? Keep gluing those fingers together and keep cutting that styrene. And we will see you in the next video. You guys might not get many bloopers. This could be a blooper. I hope you enjoyed that little, uh... Yeah. So there it is. Because, holy... And, um... Let me just...